What's your favorite color? What was your most embarrassing stream moment? What was that activation that just was like, yo, what genre of video games is your favorite to play and why? You can change the entire story of one video game that you have played. What game would it be? Welcome everybody. Hi, I am Munchkin and this is Inquiries of Doom, which is an interview of some of your favorite content creators live from DreamHack Dallas. So welcome, welcome everybody. My first guest on the show is Miss Pinky313. Pinky! <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody a little bit about who you are, where they can find you, what type of content you create, so we can get into these quick and fun interview questions. Well, let me tell you something. I love pink. First of all, y'all already know that. I love my apple juice, you know what I'm saying? And I love pepperoni pizza, because you know it's the best. And yes, pineapples do belong on pizza. I don't care. Yes. 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 Cut the cameras. <laughs> But no, yeah, um, I am a wife. I'm a mother of two beautiful babies. Um, and I play video games. A lot of people don't like grown women playing video games, but I play video games. Grown as hell. So. <laughs> and what platforms they can find you Oh, on? everywhere, y'all. Um, right now, um, I'm partnered on Facebook Gaming. Um, you can find me there, Miss Pinky313. You can also find me on Twitch, Miss Pinky313. And also TikTok, Miss Pinky313, over there as well. All right, so we're going to get into some fun interview questions. I wanted to mix this up because people normally do very standard uh, interviews, but I want this to be something fun for us all. So I'm going to ask you, what was your most embarrassing stream moment, and how did you recover from it? Oh, my goodness. I probably had a little bit of everything, but I think the most memorable is when I made a mistake and ran over my cat's tail. Let me tell you, I tell, because y'all already know, I call, because the community, they know that's their nephew, Brownie, Brownie baby. So, for whatever reason, I tell Brownie not to be up under my seat, because I get hyped during the games. And I ran backwards, and all you hear, and I said, oh my God, Brownie, I'm so sorry. But he was fine and everything, and yes, it's the most watched clip, it's the most memorable in the community, like, it's hilarious. Well, yeah. being that we're telling cat stories, y'all know my uh, most famous cat story is, of course, Cloud. <laughs> Wrecking my entire setup, getting the zoomies for no absolute reason. He went in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, all you hear is, you effing kitty yes. boy, because... <laughs> Kitty boy just be cutting up, okay? <laughs> so y'all nephew Cloud, you know, he, he he's still around being kitty boy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, us streamers and content creators, we have to do some recovery on things. And thank God that we have such a gracious community. So that yes. leads me into my next question, which is, what do you love the most about oh. your community? Oh, it's so many. It really is so many. I think it's more so I love that we have each other back, like genuinely have each other's back like if some of us going through something we always you know encourage each other like hey it's gonna be okay this is what you know I would do you know not what you should do but right. what I would do because you know you don't want to tell people the wrong information or the wrong thing to do but you know just having each other back you know loving on each other giving each other smiles just really having each other like a family like because we are I'm auntie you know, we got uncles, cousins, you know, stuff like that. So that's what I do have. I, and I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to throw a curveball at oh, you right now. Oh, snap. Because y'all know I got to cut up, okay? All right. You <laughs> in a fight in an alley right now. Ooh. You got three characters you got to pick to help you. Ooh. Who you picking and why? Ooh, okay. So first of all, I need Sonic because, you know what I'm saying, just in case if I need to Knock be picked the up. Rings out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's first of all. Second of all, I need my Knockout City character because, you know what I'm saying, with the dodgeball, you know, I call her Young Pinky, 2004 Pinky, so that's my character, you know what I'm saying, just wham, you know what I'm saying, real quick. And last one, you know what I'm saying, I need a shooter, so I would pick uh, my homegirl from uh, Modern Warfare, is it Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare, um, I forgot her name, but y'all know the... The, I, I believe she is the first black character on Call of Duty, um, mm. Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah, so really? I need, you know what I'm saying? I need a shooter, so. See, there, there we go. <laughs> and, and, you know, she got some help in this album. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell me 
what is one of your biggest accomplishments in your streaming oh. content creating career? And actually just recently, um, and I still to this day, I don't know who did it or, or whatever the case may be. I love those moments. Oh my gosh, I, I was actually streaming when I got the news. So I was streaming and I'm looking at my emails and you know, Dita Five is always telling me, no more emails after eight o'clock. Yeah. Me, I'm hard headed. I'm looking at it. <laughs> and it says you have been nominated for Facebook Gamer of the Year. And I said, who did this? Me? Nominated for a Facebook stream. What? So, and that, yeah, I think that was the the most, yeah. I'm like, and I cried. I cried the tears on the stream and you know, everything. You know, I mean, they know I'm a big behind cry baby. They try to break me in the stream all the time. You know, thug tears roll out sometimes. Mm -hmm, you, you, know. Gotta, you know, you got to moisturize your eyes sometimes. Right, you know what I'm saying? Be dry. You know, you got to water your eyes a little bit. You know, got to. All right. So, <laughs> if there was one person in the entire world that you could play video games with, who would it be and why? Oh, goodness. As far as, um... I would like to play video games with Beyonce, to be quite honest, because she's a Virgo too, and I'm a Virgo, so I think I would like to play video games with her. Yeah, I would love to see her cut up, because I, I do. I know she could cut up. Yeah. I know she could cut up. Yeah. I, and then. <laughs> I know she could. Yes, yes. Her and then another person, um, honorable mention, Kev on stage. I would like to play video games with him. Oh, he would be a. Ooh, yes. Oh my God, that yes. would be so cool. To yes. See. Yes. Uh, yes. That would be cool. Y'all already know my answer, okay? First pick is Missy Ellie. Y'all already know. Hi, 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 Missy. Hi. All right. Um. So y'all already know. <laughs> but if there was someone else that I had to choose, um, it would definitely be uh, Lizzo. Oh yeah. Um, I love her creative nature. Mm -hmm. um, Cookie Kawaii, a holla at me. Oh, you know, yes. I'm still trying to campaign for you to be in the Fenty show, yes. okay? Because yes. we need you there, yes. all right? But it's <laughs> a lot of different creative people, but mm -hmm. I'm happy that I've been able to create content with you. Yes. And, and yes. Ziggy and Aben and so many different people that you guys are going to see, all right? So yes. make sure y'all stay tuned because we're going to keep asking these questions. Um, and what we may do, depending on how things go with, you know, production and stuff, we may even take some questions that you guys ask, because I want to ask random questions that you guys, like, really want to know. Mm -hmm. So, with more random questions, um, what was your first brand deal? Mm. How much, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. how much or figure around how much did you get paid? Okay. And what did you spend it on? Ooh, good question. Um, first one, uh, well, actually collab. Can I use that? Okay. Mm -hmm. So my first collab was with Pandora. I remember that. Yep. That was so dope. Yes. Oh, I loved it. My first one, that's how I knew. I'm like, I done made it, mama. <laughs> <laughs> you like Pandora? Yes. The yes. Yes. I'm out here. Right. I'm out here. And, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so they gave me um, actually this Pandora necklace I got on right now. I wear it faithfully. Shout out to Pandora. You know, shout out. They gave me a bracelet. Shout out. The go. match and everything. Y'all want to send her some more? Yes, yes, please. And they um, <laughs> they paid me three hundred dollars. So on top of the jewelry, they gave me three hundred dollars. And that was your first one. That was my first. And what did I spend? I probably most likely bills because I'm a mom. So <laughs> that's all we do. <laughs> People think content creators got it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. We just spend money on bills. Bills, like, bills, bills. Do you want to tell how much this costs? Can you pay my telephone bill? Like, listen, Jesus on the main line, tell them what you want. A sugar daddy. I don't want no sugar. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, <laughs> so tell us about a moment in your career where you felt not so much yourself, mm. and what did you do to correct that? Um. Well, I know I sometimes, and I think because it's social media thing, right? You know, you see a whole lot of uh, great accomplishments happen on, you know, social media, and. I'm very happy for everybody, you know, don't get me wrong, but when it's, you're going up against younger generation and, you know, I'm 35 plus, you know, it's like, damn, damn, you know. Like, do I have enough time in this game? Yeah. You know, 
are they gonna respect me? Yeah. Because I'm a bit older. Yeah. Are we gonna mash like, right. the difference of, of time and culture mm -hmm. and all that? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm turning 36 in a couple days, guys. Yes. Yeah, hit that wish list. Get right. <laughs> but yeah. see, you know, it's it's that, right? So I have to always think in mind, like, it's somebody for us. We're right. we're somebody's cup of tea, right. you know what I'm saying? Because we wouldn't be here if he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And that's what brings me back, like, okay, Pinky, girl, you got it. You got this going on. You got that going on. You know, you're very much different from everybody. Everybody will not be the same. And that's what makes us unique, of course, because we are not all the same. So that's what I look forward to, you know what I'm saying, telling myself, like, Pinky, girl, you don't chill out. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. you gotta gotta chin check yourself sometimes mm -hmm. in this industry, and that's what keeps us going and flowing. Yeah, um, I thank you for your honesty because that you know. I know, I know, I know. But like I said, you know, we got this right. <laughs> knees cracking and everything. I, can't, I ain't got made knees no more. Um, all right, so we're gonna basically close this off, um, and I want you. To tell me if there's one thing in the industry that you would love to see happen or change oh, man. what would it be i would like to see more of black women just in general in the gaming industry because i know that we're starting to appear but it's still oversaturated with you know the cis white man community and stuff like that and i would like to see more black women in this space, you know, especially of our age group, you know, in this space, because we basically kicked off video games for, you know, younger. And one thing, too, um, that I have, like, just newcomers coming in, you know, to my streams and stuff and say, oh, I love seeing women playing games and right. stuff. Right. We do get a lot of that. We get a lot of that, yeah. but we've always played video games. Yeah. It's just that it's you weird. just. Yeah. Isn't we've, it like when they come in and they're like, oh, it's a black girl that plays video yeah. games. Yeah. Like, like we're just. Bro, um, I used to sit next to my brother and pass the <laughs> controller. What you talking about? Right. Like? Yeah. Yeah. And I tell them, I said, it's the thing because you guys are gatekeeping us. We've right, always been here. Right, you just right. gatekeep, and that's what let us be like, you know what, we're just going to chill. But at this point in time, we're, we're tired of chilling. We want to show you that we can beat you and your homeboy, you know, in some Call of Duty or Knockout City or, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be, Apex, whatever the case may be. So I just want more acknowledgement, you know, from our community in this space. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, Pinky. Not <laughs> only for being here, but the impact that you have had on me as we have had some candid conversations. Yeah. So, yes. you know yes. how much we need to be grown. Yes, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>